The walk a man down line is more impactful after many people think that he walked a man down. True. But yes. I don't think he's referring to Drake. I think he's saying... This What's up what everybody and welcome back to another episode. Please like the video and subscribe. Our target is only a thousand likes. So Kendrick Lamar released a surprise song on his Instagram page, supposedly titled Watch the Party Die. On the five minute song, he references Christian rapper Lacrae, Terrence Martin, and appears to be a reference to DJ Academics. He says, the radio personality pushing propaganda for salary, let me know when they turn up as a casualty. The track is the first new music from Kendrick Lamar since he released his smash single Not Like Us, which was the most successful release amid his back and forth with Drake earlier this year. Not Like Us became one of Kendrick's biggest hits to date, debuting at number one on Billboard. This release comes on the heels of the announcement of Kendrick Lamar as the performer of the 2025 Apple Music Super Bowl halftime show. It will be the second time he's doing the halftime show, following his featured spot during Dr. Dre's 2022 All-Star Tag Team of himself, Mary J. Blige, Snoop Dogg, Eminem and 50 Cent. Parading. Talk to him. Hey, I do need to work on my patience. <laughs> I mean, Doja came in and told y'all it's for the people that read. It's for the people that read. <laughs> hey, I ain't proud of you niggas at all. I love this shit. All right. If you had just... Parks loving this on the Joe Budden yeah. podcast bingo card, I you think that's are... what I'm giving. This is my bag. Like You are hitting. Uh... All right. Parks absolutely loves it. A little soul loop. I guess we're starting uh, from that way. All right. Big uh, freeze. Cool song. I'll never play it again. I'm not. Mm. This is not I don't, I don't love. I don't love or hate it. It's just. It's cool. Like I get what he's saying. I understand what the song was meant to do. But this is not something that I would ever go back to listen to again. Okay. All right. Don't uh, love it. Don't hate it. Cool. We'll never revisit this. Big freeze. You want to give everybody your socials? Yeah, <laughs> I, I officially Add ice. officially ice. Officially Black ice. Twitter Hall of Fame, nigga. Fuck is y'all talking about out there? Y'all know his body. Mm -hmm. Big, uh, big ish. Um, conceptually, it was like a eight and a half for me. I like what he was talking about. I understand everything he was saying. Um, sonically, it was a like uh, like to Ice's point. It's not something that I'm gonna play. All right, but I think lyrically it was cool. love the concept. Lyrically amazing. As far as revisiting this, low probability yeah. there. Low probability. Flip? I like the record. Um, I just think the timing is wrong for me. I think it's the wrong time. I think especially after everything that's going on with the whole Super Bowl thing, I just think to put a song out like that, it's just the wrong time. Um, that's the only thing for me that didn't make me really. I like the record. I think it's dope. I listened to it a couple of times. I like what he's saying, but it's like, nigga, you already won. It's not the time. You got the Super Bowl. People are mad about the Super Bowl, and then you drop this record. It's like kicking a dog while it's down. That's how I took it. You took you take this as a diss record? You took this as a diss? Yeah. Yeah, yeah to me. To yeah. who, though? To Drake? I, I, that's how I took it when I was listening oh, no, to I it. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't, didn't take it as a diss I didn't take, I didn't take it as that at all. I, I, Not at all. It's like more critical. He criticizing society. He criticizing mm -hmm. hip-hop. Mm -hmm. He no, criticizing I took it, I I took it uh, as he was, our yeah. culture. But, the walk uh, a man yeah. down line is more impactful after many people think that he walked a man down. True. But yes. I don't think he's referring to Drake. I think he's saying this is what it's going to take from all of us. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Tough love. To like the her. people, and we'll be better for it like if her. we if we. What about the line? The what, he, what he said that there's no there's no turning back. Uh, what's the line he said? He said the line as far as. I'm going to continue to play it. I don't know if the line you were talking about is in his first. No, it's verse. in the beginning. As far as when he said that um, there's no forgiveness. Uh, I gotta hear it again. It went to, he said it went too far. There's no forgiveness or something to that effect of basically saying that. I took it as nigga. It's no move they for can't apologies. Come back from they it. can't yeah. come back from what happened, and the only situation I could equate that to is with him and Drake. That's why I thought that okay. See, he, you know, I mm -hmm. take that line to mean the state of hip hop today, yeah, or the, the state of our yeah, culture, no yeah. going back to where yeah, the you guys are talking about the, the shit. The line, the shit got done too wicked to apologize. It's different. Tell him to get whacked and disqualified. Yeah, that's that line. one. Yeah, 
I mean, you guys are hip hop historians, so you guys think deep. I, if on the surface level, that's what I took it as. I was like, that's the wrong time. But don't do that to yourself. You're an Afrobeat historian too. So, or I the reason why, the reason why I'm gonna tell you the reason why I wouldn't take this as a Drake. Let's go freeze. Put me on as a, as a Drake diss, because I'm gonna give Kendrick some credit here. This is the same person that said if I catch flight, it's gonna, it's gonna be direct, and I'm not sneak this and I'm not subbing. So. For you to, if this were a Drake diss and you come out subbing like this, it's very hypocritical of everything you just said. But was so it I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt okay. and say he wasn't doing that. Got he it. was okay. actually talking about him just being fed up with where hip hop is today mm -hmm. and I'm tired of this shit and it's going to take, basically, this is my call to destroy and rebuild type Got of it. shit. Mm -hmm. This is destroy and rebuild. This is not, this is not, uh, it's and not bigger just, than Drake. This and is not, not just hip -hop. way bigger than Drake. Got it. And this is a couple days off of the Super Bowl promo vid saying no round twos. I see some of the thirsty Drake fans out there trying to make it sound like it's some huge dough. Oh, he's like no round twos. It's, a round two. it's not a round two. You totally missed the point. Go grab a book or don't. Audio book. I don't know. <laughs> Me, I just went to TikTok and listened to all the breakdowns. <laughs> that, that's what I did. So I got to see what was going on. But clearly you can hear that he's fed up. Uh, it's almost like, all right. Three o'clock high. I got the I got the school I got the bully out the way first month of school mm -hmm. and now it's time to deal with the rest of you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's what it sounds like. Uh and I'm out of order. I want to hear from Big Mel. Yes. Um, I like the record. Um it's I'm not turning it off if it comes on, but I liked a lot more of the, you know, music that we heard earlier. Um, but it I thought the timing was weird as well unless it's just this is like a prelude to what is going to be the content of the entire album so and i also didn't take it as like a full-on drake this I, I thought that it was like a jump off like to where he understood that everybody would assume it was and then it really became an indictment on the industry as a whole and especially when you get to the third verse mm -hmm. i feel like he's really shooting at like YouTubers and streamers mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like, you know, kind of like um, buzzards picking at a carcass. You know what I'm saying? Like that was kind of how I processed, like we'll get to the third verse, yeah. but that was where, that was what really stood out in terms of the song for me. I think that was a lot. A lot. Selling over 600,000 records. Now I wouldn't want to ask you that. How many more drops you think we get before we get the album from Kendrick? Uh, a few more. You gotta, you gotta get drops. I'm just saying, IG, look, from yeah. now till February? Yeah. Yeah, between between uh, three and five. You got to. If you have a whole project and you're trying to sell your project and you have the Super Bowl and you have this, the next single that's coming and you'll want to do something around that, even for the lowest of visible guys, he is he is visibly low. What are we about to be in October? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to go four. Four or five. It's five months to the okay. Super Bowl, so... Okay. I don't think you'll give us one a month even though. So y'all think his album does not come out prior to the Super Bowl? Uh, I think his album, maybe prior to. I, at first No, I, actually no, because the whole industry shut down from uh, December to January. No, he ain't dropping. I don't have him dropping before then. At first I thought no. No. But as I unorthodox so. as this nigga moves, so. I wouldn't be surprised, yo. I wouldn't be shocked if you get a silent, a secret drop somewhere. Would I bet my poker chips? Center table for that? No. I'm not betting on that. I fold. 